Quilting is like a Pandora's box. There are countless things which you can create with the technique. Upscale your living room with new quilt pillows or turn around the look of your bedroom with a colorful bed cover. In this video, we will be creating a cathedral quilt design, which is obviously inspired from the traditional windows of cathedrals or churches. It's very easy to make and with a little bit of creative imagination, you can make the magic happen. To make a cathedral quilt pattern of 18 inches by 18 inches, you will need 16 pieces of plain white fabric for the background of 5.5 inches by 5.5 inches in size. 32 pieces of yellow fabric for binding, 5.5 inches by 5.5 inches in size. 4 pieces of pink striped fabric, 5.5 inches by 5.5 inches in size. 4 pieces of blue striped fabric, 5.5 inches by 5.5 inches in size. 1 piece of green striped fabric, 5.5 inches by 5.5 inches in size. Cutting mat, quilting ruler, rotary fabric cutter, thread, iron, beaded pins and scissors. To begin with, we will give you a quick tutorial on how to get those perfect 5 inches by 5 inches squares of fabric. Take two layers of the yellow printed fabric as shown. This is a quilting ruler. Each box on the ruler is 1 inch by 1 inch. Count 5 boxes both length and breadth wise. Cut all around the ruler with the help of your rotary fabric cutter and remove the excess fabric. That's it! You have your perfect 5 inches by 5 inches square ready. Let's get quilting! Take the printed fabric that you have just cut and fold it into half, diagonally to make a triangle as shown in the video. Iron the fold line. Ironing is the most crucial element of quilting. Every fold and seam have to be ironed to get a smooth and desirable result. Repeat the same process with the other piece of printed fabric. This will be the background fabric. Place the two triangles of printed fabric on the white square piece so that the folds of the printed fabric come at the center as shown in the video. We will be stitching all around the square fabric. Pin the fabric in place. Let's get sewing. We have already kept the machine ready with the HP foot along with the HP plate. Set the machine to straight stitch and begin to sew all around the square. When you come to the end of one side, stop. Lift the needle, turn the fabric and continue stitching. Go all around the square in a similar manner. Good job! You just got your first block for the quilt. This is how it should look like. Create another three squares in the same way. Place them on the cutting mat as shown. 
Notice how the center lines of each square is connecting to the center line of the other square to form a pattern. Lay one square over the other front facing front and pin the sides where you will need to stitch like shown in the video. This is the side where we will be stitching. Stitch on the pin side. Cut the thread. Repeat the same process on the other two squares. Now we have two separate pieces of two squares each. We will now stitch these two together. Make sure you keep the design in mind. Lay the two pieces front facing front. And stitch. Cut the thread. This is how our pattern should look. Now we need to open the seams with the help of our fingers and iron the seam line to flatten the fabric. This is very important for a neat finish. This is how the stitched pattern should look like. Just like the first row of squares, we have created another row of squares. Keep this row of squares in such a manner that we get two opposite triangles as shown. Let's now join the top and bottom rows. Keep them front facing front as shown in the video and make sure the seam lines match each other. Pin the fabric together. Sew them together like done previously. We now have a pattern of 8 squares ready. We will take another piece of 8 squares and join them together to form the background of our cathedral quilt. Once done, place the stitched fabric on the cutting mat. We are now going to pick our colourful stripped squares and start placing them on the inside of the squares of the stitched fabric. We need to fill the gaps on both the sides of the top and bottom. Take the square fabric and cut it diagonally as shown. For the corners, we will need even smaller triangles. Take the square fabric and cut it diagonally twice as shown. Place these smaller triangle pieces onto the corners and pin. Now it's time for some magic. Fold the printed yellow background fabric onto the stripped fabric as shown. See how the square forms into a nice curve. 
This is key to the cathedral pattern. We need to stitch on the pointed area and replicate the same on all four sides and then through the entire quilt. Adjust the folded fabric under the press of foot and begin sewing. Start slow and make sure you adjust to the curb well. Keep a steady hand to ensure you get a neat finish. When you come to a corner, ensure that you neatly overlap both sides of the square to form a pointed edge and stitch over them as shown in the video. Once you are at the end of the corner, pivot the fabric while keeping the needle still inside the fabric. Continue ahead to stitch all the sides of the square. Repeat the same process for all the squares of the quilt. To complete this design, we will just do a straight stitch all around the edge of the quilt. Once done, cut the thread. That's it! You have just added another feather to your cap. You now can quilt and create wonderful colour combinations with the cathedral quilting technique. These can even be used as a decorative wall hanging to accentuate bags or clutches. Hope you like this video. Do like and comment on the kinds of quilts you would like to see.